the process of coil building is about the oldest, uh, probably the oldest engineering process known to humankind. The, um, the technique has been around forever. I didn't uh, use it at all in my work until really the last 10 years um, when I found I wanted a very specific shape that did a, a very specific thing and the only way I could get there was by this very, very ancient <laughs> and humble process. But it's a way of creating quite a large object quite quickly and quite accurately once you master the processes. The great trick to coil building is, apart from rolling out the coils, is the join. And this piece will be the, uh, eventually um, 40, 45 centimetres high. Um, it's left to firm up between each building session and then the edges have to be uh, dampened and prepared with a bit of water for this process. You get a good, strong, strongly constructed wall. Now the welding down process begins first like that with your hand. Uh, weather like we're having at the moment is fabulous for hand building. You can, you can go quite quickly. Um, maybe only uh, 45 minutes to an hour between each building session and in one day quite a large object can be quite a large piece 50 centimetres wide, uh, 45 centimetres high, uh, can be pretty much created. The clay I'm using is called Keen's Special K. Um, it comes from New South Wales. It's a, a very, very specially designed clay invented by a man called Roger Keen. It's been around uh, for 22 years, as I recall, and I've used it... Um, as my main clay for um, 18 years. It's terribly strong and that's important to me because many of my pieces are fired more than once. Uh, some of them are fired three times with varying different processes on them and um, it needs to be a really strong tough clay to be able to tolerate that kind of treatment. Well, this here is what it's all about, and this piece has been fired. Um, well, I'm very, very, very pleased with the way that's turned out. It's quite an exciting piece. I hope the other side's just as good. The, um, the form is rather formal. The original image we put on there, or the colours and the glazes put on there, are put on fairly formally, and the kiln is just wonderfully brought this thing to life and it's flowed and um, it's uh, given it a life of its own. And the other side, well just a loop and pray. Well there we are, the other side's just, it might even be better. <laughs> You're getting twice the value.